Hi everyone. Today we're going to be updating our firmware on our XL4 uh, all-in-one controller by Horner. And the first thing we need to do is um, head over to the website to download our our firmware updates. So if we go to www.heapg.com and here we can log in. I've already done so. And if we go to our support and controller firmware, you will look down and you will see we have our XL4 right here. And our version, our latest version, is 14.24. We can also look at the re release notes. So what we do is we download from this location. The other method is if we go to this link, Horner dot apg dot com slash en slash download dot slash ocs dot aspx it will bring us to this page once we're on this page um, we have our seascape but then we have our firmware and down here we look at the xl4 and then we can download that same version at this location you will also see that we also have our our download link for our release notes as well so what we do is we download that information and it will actually, uh, what we want to do is it comes down as a zip file, which is this one right here. And we double click it in order to unzip it and we unzip it to this file here, which has all the information. And then all we do is copy this information back to our root on our USB drive. So once we have it in our, in our USB drive, what we want to do is we'll plug that into our controller. And our controller currently is, is powered up. Um, so what I have to do first of all is we'll unplug that USB. And I will just take it out of my computer here. And we will put it into the USB port of our controller. While it's powered up. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that we have uh, no other drives in, so our micro USB um, card, we have to make sure that's removed. And then what we do is we uh, hit our system uh, button and hold it. It will then come up with a menu. And of these three selections, what we want to do is we want to press the install bootloader and it says are we sure now remember that when we do this all of our um, information in our controller will be removed that means all of our communication everything so we'll have to reload all the settings afterwards so are we sure yes it takes can take about a minute it says so well it does that so you see it's very straightforward. We just go onto the website and go ahead and do that. Right. It's very important again, just want to reiterate to back up all the documentation that you have on this. So what will happen is um, when this is operation complete, we'll say OK. And then what we will do is then, um, uh, then power down. So remove the power. We'll actually take out our USB because we don't need that anymore. And we will now power it back up again. So while that's powering up, what we will do is we'll then go in look at the settings and they should actually read 14.24 uh, which is the same version as what we're uh, downloading to which you see the 14.24 in the controller it matches okay it says no no user screens because again you have to then download all that afterwards so if we go up in the system we'll go to actually down or use status and if we go uh, down here you will actually notice our firmware revision now is at 14.24 so if you like the video 
And by the way, all the links that I've talked about in here are on the um, unit below or in the link below as well as on our website at accautomation.ca. Now if you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways you can help us out. First of all, give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information here on YouTube. Also you can subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of the video. You can also go to accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website. When you do that, you'll be given notification every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also be getting uh, two links for free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data logging. And the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.